You may remember this scene, chaos during the Minneapolis Ward 10 convention between supporters of city council member Aisha Chantai and those backing her challenger, Nisri Warsami, when Warsami supporters stormed the stage. Warsami has now been permanently banned from ever getting an endorsement from the DFL. Morgan Wolf has more from the party. Yes, the message DFL leaders say that they are sending is that the party will not tolerate any harassment or violence of any kind. Last night, a public meeting went on for hours as roughly 300 people logged on to debate. The bylaw changes. Not everyone was on board. Again, we're talking about removing someone from the party. And so I just want to be very clear with that. As somebody who does outreach and inclusion, this makes our job harder in the community when we make decisions like this to disenfranchise people. Some DFL members say that the actions against Warsami are extreme and the ban damages the relationship the party has with Minnesota's Somali community. This ban stems from the Ward 10 nominating convention on May 13th that ended in that massive fight you're looking at right there. DFL party chair Ken Martin told me today that they interviewed multiple people that say Warsami campaign team encouraged people to storm the stage and they did little to end the chaos. No doubt in our mind that the campaign itself, uh, the candidate, campaign staff, and their supporters could have done more to avoid this situation, and they did not. In a Facebook post from last week, Warsami wrote in part, quote, In reality, no one has the right to deny me the right to represent the re residents of Ward 10, and I'll keep fighting for public safety and justice for all. I reached out to his campaign team multiple times today. I've not heard back from them quite yet. Over to Chris at the live desk.